Good morning and welcome to Friday's Daily Prayers in Advent. Will you join with me in our opening responses? O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead and Christ shall give you light. And join in our opening prayer with me. O Emmanuel, King and Lawgiver, hope of the nations and their Saviour, come and save us from our troubles. Strengthen us with your presence, encourage us with your hope, and bring us at last to our eternal home. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Will you join with me in singing this verse? Oh, come, the King of When I became vicar of an ancient church, I was presented in the opening service with the key to the main door, an enormous foot-long example of medieval craftsmanship that was very heavy to carry around. It symbolised the authority given to me to be the spiritual guardian of the people within that parish, bringing them to know more of God's care for them. Isaiah is talking about God's coming servant, not only the new king Eliakim, who Isaiah hoped would be faithful to God, but the hoped-for successor to David, who would bring in God's true new kingdom of care for all. The key of David is the authority, rather like the scepter of the queen, to show care to all the people. Jesus, the Messiah, comes to bring care to all. His authority can shut out evil and open hope, not only for the present, but for all eternity. Jesus showed his care in healing the sick, restoring the troubled and raising the dead. Good news for those in misery, both then and now. In our prayers this morning, Come and claim the authority of Jesus as we pray for those in misery. You might like to pray for those suffering in war-torn countries like Yemen or for those suffering from natural disasters that have left them either very hungry or without homes. For refugees from troubles still stuck in destitution, whether in our country or in Europe, those living with the threat of terrorism. You might want to pray for those who are sick, whether here or elsewhere, or you can pray for those who are suffering depression or other mental illness, especially for those you know, that the light of Christ's power may draw them from their darkness. Let's pray. So will you join with me in our prayer for today? O oh God, gentle and merciful, your anointed Son brought healing to those in weakness and distress. He broke the power of evil and set us free from sin and death, that we might become partakers of his glory. Remember in your mercy all for whom we pray, in the fullness of time, complete your gracious work, that we may be restored in your image, renewed in your love, and forever praise your great and holy name. Amen. And will you say with me, Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And to finish, let's sing together the chorus, a great ray of hope as we go our way into God's world. <laughs> 